Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, Tableau Education and Consulting Experts. And in this week's Tableau video, what I wanna cover with you is how to display counts in Tableau. Um, so a little backstory, I wasn't really setting out planning to make this video. It was just something that I kept coming across. Like it was a popular Google search and I thought, well, I've never really seen a, an explanation for how to show row counts in Tableau um, and some different ways that that might work. So let's try it, okay? So first of all, we're going to cover a few different ways to show counts. We're going to say, how many total rows do you have? How many unique records do you have? How many rows with records do you have? So depending on how you're trying to display counts, there's actually maybe a few different ways to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and dive into it. And I'm going to start with using or just displaying an overall row count, right? So if I want to know how many rows of data are in my data source, um, I'm either going to have a field that's called like whatever the, the name of your table is, like orders count, head count, count. Um, or if you're using a little bit older version of Tableau, you may have something called number of records. That would be from like probably 2020.1 and earlier. Okay. Um, so to get a row count, all you would need to do is grab one of those fields. I'll grab orders count and put that on text in the marks card. So you can see that my total row count for this data source is 9,994. Um, so I think I should just add a caveat that I'm just working with one table of data. If you've connected multiple tables of data via a relationship, um, there may be a unique count for each table. So we're just talking about one table of data at a time, or you know, if you're working with a, a spreadsheet, this would be like one sheet from an Excel workbook. Okay, so 9,994. And if I want to break that down in any way, like, oh, hey, what's the row count by category? Well, cool. I just put category on the row shelf and I can see those 9,994 now broken out by category. Okay. Uh, so like I was saying, if I had used number of records, if you're using an older version of Tableau, that's basically just the exact same thing, right? I put number of records on text. It's going to give me the same results. And even if I take category off the row shelf, 9,994. Okay, cool. So that's option one, right? Just showing a total count of the number of rows in your data set. Um, option two, how many rows do I have with a valid value? Okay, so I'm going to go to a different data set I've got here called World Indicators. Okay, so this is a data set which tracks each country in the world each year. I think it's got like 12 years in it, and it just lists important information like what's the population of these countries or what's the life expectancy. So sometimes some countries do not, um, uh, what am I trying to say here? They don't report a value. So they might leave life expectancy blank, okay? So for example, um, in this data source, I've got something called migrated data. So migrated data count, let's put that on the text uh, section of the Mars card. So this says I have 2,691 rows, right? But how many of those rows have a valid life expectancy female value? Okay, so let me take the existing field count of migrated data off of the uh, text in the marks card and instead put life expectancy female. So at first it does some aggregation, like it summed all the life expectancies together and it's like, hey, if you took everybody from every country in the world for every year, it'd be 180,000. Like, that's a meaningless number. Um, what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go to this sum of life expectancy field, hit the drop down on this green pill in the marks card and change my aggregation from sum to count. So what count will do is it will count the number of records, but it's not the exact same as our migrated data count or our number of records count, okay? Let me just double click on the migrated data count so we can see those side by side. So our total number of rows is 2,691, but our number of rows with a valid um, value for female life expectancy is 2,555. So what does that mean? Where are those roughly 140 values? Where did they go? Um, so let me go ahead and hit the view data button here near the top of my data pane so I can show you this. Um, so I click here. And you will see, right, like I was saying, sometimes there are some um, columns where there's a null value, or in other words, just a blank, right? So if I looked at life expectancy female, I click here, and I should see, I don't know if it's actually going to tell me a count as I select them, um, but actually it might be pretty close. Well, maybe it's not going to show me that. That's okay. Uh, but you can see there are a number of records where the life expectancy was left as null. So with a 
with the count aggregation, when I did count of life expectancy female, those null rows were not counted. Cool. Okay. So now to look at one more way to be able to count values, what if you want to get a unique count of values? So let's stick with this world indicators data set, right? We know that our overall migrated data count was 2,691. What if I now want to know how many countries are there in this data set? Okay, so if I took um, country region and put that on text, first of all, it's going to just act crazy. Like, oh, there's a label for every country in the world. Like, ah, no, not what I want. Um, so I'm going to hit the drop down on that country field. And let's start by using count like we did in the last worksheet. So if I switch this to count, okay, the count of country values is 2,691. So that tells me uh, there's no row of data in this data set where the country name was left blank. That's good overall. But as we hopefully know from geography class, there are not 2,600 countries in the world unless you count every individual slice of the world that thinks it should be its own country, right? Um, Sorry, you know, parts of Spain and other places that want to be their own country. Uh, so what, what am I going to do? Let me grab another copy of country region, put that on text in the marks card. But this time I'm going to hit the drop down on this country region pill and change the aggregation from count to count distinct. So what count distinct will do is it will tell us how many unique values are there. So you can now see as I hover over this worksheet, there's 2,691 total records. 2,691 records with a valid value in the country column, and there are 207 unique fields, uh, unique values rather, in the country column or the country field in my data set. So cool, this was uh, hopefully a helpful rundown to be able to see some different ways of being able to display counts in Tableau. And there's some more advanced stuff that you could do if you ever want to do a calculation and how many values were above this, give me a row count. Like sure, you can add filters to your worksheets, you can do calculations, uh, but this is just meant to sort of be the tip of the iceberg, how do you display counts in Tableau. So I hope this was a helpful video to be able to walk through some of that. Um, and feel free to drop questions down below. If you have something specific that you are looking for, you're trying to display counts, but maybe it's a little bit different than what we covered, let me know and I'm happy to try and address that as, uh, as much as I can. So. Thanks so much for following along, and we look forward to catching you with another video here on the One Number YouTube channel next week. All right, thanks.